all right y'all welcome back to the channel um i had a request on to do a video about the mini trees that i made so here we go i'm gonna go through everything i did on how i made these um so let's take a closer look um we have six strips of leds and each strip on mine are 25 lights um the spacing on the holes is one inch so i have a light every two inches because i skipped a hole this is what the um, strips look like you can get these at any of the uh lighting um websites i'm not going to plug anyone specifically because they're not paying me to so i'll just let you do your own research on them they're all pretty much the same wherever you get them but uh anyways the topper here is something that i designed myself through solidworks i saw on thingiverse one that looks very similar to this uh but you mount it differently here so i basically took a shape that i liked and i just made changes to it this way you can just feed the strips through and fold them over and then zip tight together. You will have to, let's see. You will have to drill out this part right here, uh, this hole just to get the pixel through the top one. Um, but we'll go over that in just a second. Uh, this mounted to a five foot tall, uh, half inch EMT conduit. And I have a bolt hole um, designed into the fixture to clamp the topper to the EMT so it doesn't slide down because these lights kind of weigh a decent amount so the bolt clamps them together. Um, this is a Boscoyo Mini Tree Star and it's the small one and hindsight I wish I would have gone with the medium size um, but live and learn. This is the small star. It's got 20 pixels in it. So overall, the whole tree, the tree itself is 150 uh, pixels, and then the star is 20. So it's 170 total. The tree is on its own channel, and the star is on its own channel. So they're separately configured into my controller. So I have these two trees are daisy chained together with the F amp in between and all four stars are daisy chained together with the F amp and power injection. So each, like I said before, each strip is 25 lights and I used uh, strands of 50 lights. So two strand two uh, strips is one strand of lights so i started at the bottom that's where you want to be uh so you don't have a bunch of wires hanging from the top i started at the bottom i go up 25 lights and i go over and then down and that's where that strip ends and you can see how i have the next uh strip uh mounted to that you can use strips of 100 and get four in there but uh, it's just easier because I got two, two, and two. So that's three 50 uh, count uh, of lights. So it just worked out easier for me that way. And that's also another reason why I did six uh, instead of five. Um, so I can go up, down, up, down, up down and then also end on the ground here so i have this one plugged but if i had another tree then i can just plug in another tree here and then run it to the next one instead of having it end way up here and now i have more wires dangling down so i already have these from the star dangling but you don't really have a choice there but since i had a choice uh i wanted my wires to all be on the ground so it starts on the ground and then it ends on the ground i hope that makes sense 
Um, cause I almost did five and I started thinking about it and I was like, well, I'm going to have some of these daisy chained together. So I don't want all the wires just kind of dangling around, you know, you can still zip time to your post here, but I didn't want to have to do that. So that is exactly what I did. So to mount them to the ground, we have, I'll just pull it up for you. Uh, it's a strain relief fitting. Um, I bought this from one of the sites. Well, I bought some of them from some of the, one of the sites, but I ran out. So I, uh, got on a solid works and I made something very similar. Uh, turns out that you don't really need these. I'll, I'll link, uh, these in the description if you want to 3d print your own, but I think next year I probably won't even use them. And I'll tell you, they don't really hold up very well. They'll break. And all I'm doing is uh, using this big construction nail. You can go, you can fold over the strip and just go through the hole and mount them to the, and just stick them into the ground just like that. So next year I probably won't even use these, but if you want to, I'll leave it in the description how you can 3D print your own instead of buying them. Or if you want to buy them, they're actually pretty cheap. Uh, if you don't have a 3D printer, you can just go and buy them. They're like 40 cents a piece or something like that. But that's how I mount them to the ground. And since the topper is round or rounded, uh, it kind of gives the tree look. Um, you can mount them flat. I've seen people do that. That's perfectly fine too. Um, and when you're configuring an X-Lights, they give you the option whether it's flat or rounded. Um, for me, it's rounded. I just kind of like the way they look uh, during the day with the rounded look instead of the flat, but that's just my opinion. And uh, everyone's got their own, so that's just how I did it. Um, let's, uh, let's take a closer look at the topper and how I mount the the strips to it. Um, I left after my last pixel, I left a one, two, three, uh, empty holes, um, empty spaces for lights. And I just ran it through and folded it over and zip tied through the little mini holes to kind of pinch it together. And like I said, I wobbled out the, the back hole here to make it big enough to fit the whole pixel through because the holes are designed and sized to fit just the head of the pixel and not the whole body of it. So I wanted to easily be able to stick the whole body of the pixel through the back hole and then out through the head of the front hole. So it's pretty simple design, uh, works really great. The EMT is actually, um, I drove, uh, I think it was three eighths inch con, uh, not conduit, but um, rebar. It's a, like five feet of rebar and I pounded about two and a half feet into the ground and slid the rest over, uh, the empty over the rest was sticking out. And, um, I put this long piece right here so we can attach a guy wire to keep it from falling forward because these pixels weigh quite a bit. So I was worried that they're going to lean. Uh, so far, I haven't had any issues, but I put this here in case I wanted to attach a wire to kind of keep it from leaning forward. And let's see. So it's not really leaning. The second, this one right here is leaning just a little bit, but it's not too bad. And I'm not worried about it falling over because I drove the rebar in pretty far. Uh, it might've even been better if I had, had like an extra foot or two of rebar coming up. So it would be up higher, but you know, I'd probably do that next year. But that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think that there's anything else left to go over 
if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask in the comments section. We can take a closer look at the at the topper without anything attached to it. Okay, here's my prototype of the topper here. You can see it's got six slots for your strings. This is the pixel mounting strip here. So all, all I did is I left a couple extra holes uh, open. You can choose however many you want to. I think I left three. And you just slide into the top of your mounter, your uh, topper. And you just, I just crimped it together just like this. And it just put the zip ties through there. But before I did that, I, I knew when I folded it over that this one was going to be my top light. Right, and then so I matched up the hole on the back side here, and I just took a half inch drill bit and just kind of wobbled it out a little bit so I could fit my pixel all the way through. So that's where the top light's gonna go. This hole, once it's folded over, matches up to it, right? So I want my pixel to go all the way through this hole, so I just wobbled it out with a half inch bit, right? So now it's fold it over like this okay and the back is open so you can fit the, fit the pixel through uh, you're going to want to push your pixels through your strips first before you mount it or else you, you know you're going to have probably a harder time but however you want to do it that's how i did it um hole right here for your bolt uh i think i said it was a quarter inch 20 with an inch and a half uh, long bolt to go all the way through and then put a nut on it and just tighten it down and this hole right here gets smaller around your conduit and it just pinches it tight so it holds under the weight and that's it I'll put links in the description for Thingiverse where you can go and print these if you want to I think I printed at 50% infill uh, I honestly can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was 50%. And that's that. Uh, I used uh, PETG, PETG, because I knew it was going to be out in the sun, and that supposedly is more uh, UV resistant. This one is made out of PLA. Um, like I said, this was my um, test subject right here. And once I knew that it was going to work, I used a PETG uh, to print the ones that are actually outside. So... That's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. Thanks again. See you later.